Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and this is my review for the series premiere, well, the part one of the series premiere of Big Brother 16. Um, so I was looking forward to Big Brother um, this year. I really was not looking forward to it, though, also because last year's cast, as we know, was horrible. Horrible. Oh my god. Last year was the season of floaters. You had Amanda, you had... You had, like, Aaron, who is good, who is nice now, but you had, like, Amanda and Aaron and Gina Marie and the really annoying people and all those annoying people last year. Like, I really don't want to get into them last year. But, of course, last year I reviewed Big Brother for you guys, and I know a lot of you really enjoyed it, so I wasn't planning on actually reviewing it for you. I was planning on doing it as a season, but I figured, you know what, a lot of people enjoy my reviews. I might as well review each episode individually, which I'm going to do. So this game, but this is technically part one of the series premiere because they're doing like a two night thing. So we're gonna call this Big Brother um, season the season premiere Big Brother episode one part one um, because this really was uh, part one and next week's also episode two, but it'll be part two of the series premiere. So let's get this up to um, the premiere. So basically. This season is going to be very, very interesting. It's going to be a very diverse um, group, definitely. And I'm, I'm, let's just get into who we have for the other uh, cast members. So first off, um, you know, Julie welcomes all of us, and she tells, and you know, we see that the the H the room is decorated sort of like a um, the room is decorated as um, how do I explain? It? Okay, the room is decorated as a treehouse. That's like the theme this year, so that's interesting. Of course, there are a lot of twists this season, which I definitely do want to get into. And first, we meet um, eight house guests tonight, because there are only eight house guests that we meet tonight, and the other eight are coming in tomorrow. So, here are the eight house guests we met tonight. First, we met, um, and first, let's just, let's just get to them in order. We have Amber, who is this nice southern girl who I kind of like. I think she's a nice girl. She doesn't seem mean or anything. Um, we met Cody tonight, who all the girls are falling for. It seems like it seems like he's gonna be like the heartthrob of the show to all the girls. So like for all the girls that are watching this show, you guys can enjoy that. Um, we have we have Devin, who I really like this guy. You know, he's um Ellen, he's um MLB MLB star who seems like he's actually very very good at what he does. Like I like what he does. Um, you know, he's a baseball player, so I like what he does and everything, so Devin's really good. You have Donnie, who seems like just a really fun guy. He's the oldest guy in the house, but he seems like he's a lot of fun to watch. He seems like he's going to be a really nice guy, and I'm looking forward to seeing him, definitely. Um, then you have Frankie, who is the biggest one in the show because he's actually Ariana Grande's brother. So, of course, he has to try to cover that up because, of course, he already has, with money, they think that since he's Ariana Grande's brother, they'll think that he has money, and with money comes experience. So I kind of like his strategy that he's not telling people that he's actually Ariana Grande's brother. I like that strategy. I think that's a good thing that he's doing. Um, then you have Joey, who I really like her. I mean, she seems like a, a nice girl and everything. I really enjoy her, um, not so much the blue hair, but I like her, I like her as a person. Nicole, who is super hot, however, Erin was super hot last year until I found, until we found out that she was racist, um, but I think that Nicole does not seem that way. I like how she, like, sort of is kind of awkward, but she's also hot, like, the way she talks is in, like, an awkward way, but I really like her. She seems like a really nice girl, and, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing her, um, and then the last one is uh, Paula, who, she's this girl that is kind of, I have a feeling she's going to end up being a little bit annoying, not too annoying, but a little bit annoying, um, because she really likes Cody, the guy Cody, and she really wants to pursue a showmance with him, as we know there are showmances this season. However, what Paula did you not learn last season, you cannot have a showmance, it's not going to be good for you in the long run, because as we know, David and Aaron tried that last season. David got was the first one evicted. It's not going to work this season. However, this season is completely different from any other season. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But let's talk about some of the alliances that were formed this season. Um, there was a eight people alliance called Crazy Eights um, because they knew that there are more people coming. So they thought, okay, we're the eight people here. Let's um, we have each other's back. We don't want to put another target on our back. So we're going to be called Crazy Eights. So they formed a Crazy Eights alliance. However, then what happened was we saw Frankie and, um, De Frankie, no, Devin and, um, Devin and 
Donnie talking, and Devin went to talk to Donnie, and they may, they may be uh, forming an alliance, um, so we'll have to see what's happening there, because uh, Paula thinks they're going to form an alliance, so Paula and Amber decide to form this alliance with the four girls, you know, Paula, Amber, Nicole, and Joey, and they're going to they're gonna call themselves um, um, El Cuatro, which they're basically going to be the female Final Four, they're going to, they want a female to win this year, they really want to win this year, and they, because, think about it, the last time a girl won this competition, you know, won the game, was Big Brother 13, when Rachel won, ever since then, Big Brother 14, you know, Ian won, and Big Brother 15, Andy won, so, you know, it's, I think it'd be interesting if, if they are actually successful this year, we'll have to see what happens with them this year, but, yeah, so right now they formed this alliance called El Cuatro, and we'll have to see where that goes as well, so, I'm looking forward to that. And then Julie kind of lays some big twists on them, because the first twist that she tells them, which is very interesting, is that there's going to be um, a, a head of household that's not safe this year. No, it's just because you're, you know, there's, you know, there's usually a head of household, and basically the, the twist is that just because you're head of household does not mean you are safe. That's what that means. It, it, mean, it does not mean you're necessarily safe, so... We don't really know what that means. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what that means, but I'm trying. I'm trying to think what exactly she means, you know, by that. And I was trying to figure it out, but that was definitely very interesting. And then there's also this thing called Team America, which I'll get to at the end, which is really awesome, and I'll talk about that. But of course, then they put they and they participated in their in the uh, HOH competition. Now everybody's freaking out at the moment because she's just like, just because you're HOH doesn't mean you're safe, and everybody's freaking out. They don't know what they're gonna do. But basically, that they, they participate in the HOH competition, the very first HOH competition, and um, Frankie ends up winning surprisingly. So that was big. But Frankie is kind of screwed now because the thing is. As we know, in the HOH room, when you're HOH, you get a letter home from your family. Now, if Frankie gets a letter home from his family, he is going to get a letter home from Ariana Grande, which, of course, is his sister, and then people are going to find out that Ariana Grande is his sister, and they're going to target on Frankie. Because, as I said, the HOH is not safe this year. So that means that they can turn on the HOH. Say they don't like what the... And it's a really cool twist, actually, because they don't like what the HOH is doing. They can then turn on them and evict them, and that's it. They it just, just because they're HOH, it means nothing. It just means they make two nominations, and that's all it means. So Frankie ends up winning, and then Julie puts another big twist on them, which, of course, is that there are about... Um, about a, uh, more people coming. We don't know how many more people are coming. Um, there are more people coming tomorrow night, which I'll talk about. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let me do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more people coming because there's sixteen all together. Um, so there's eight more people coming, and basically, um, those eight people. There's actually going to be another head of household within those people, and that person's not safe either. So there's going to be two head of households. Neither of them are safe, and um, pretty much their targets too. So it's going to be very interesting this season to see how that works, which I'm really looking forward to this season because I think that's just a very interesting twist. You know, all this time the head of household makes the nominations. They're safe. And they just make nominations and choose two nominees, and that's it. They're safe. However, this year that's not the case. It's it's they're they're put on the they're put on the spot right away, and they're not necessarily safe. So they can turn on the H O H, which is very big. Now the other big thing we have to talk about is Team America, and this twist is awesome. I love this twist. I love where this. I love this twist. I think it's awesome. Um, the twist for Team America is basically this. Team America, we um, have, I, I guess we, I didn't do this, but we have selected who we want to actually be in a secret three-person alliance and who we will put in an alliance. Now, me personally, out of the three that arrived so far, here are the three people I'd like in an alliance. Nicole, Frankie, these are people I like so far. I like Nicole, I like Frankie, and um, Nicole, Frankie, because I, I, those are two, those are two right away that I really like. And then I'd say Donnie. Those are Donnie's probably the one of my favorites, definitely. So Nicole, Frankie, and Donnie are in an alliance. Say they're in an alliance. What they then do is that three personal alliance. We actually have to, we create missions for them. Like we get to choose what missions they do and things like that. It's gonna be very interesting this year. So we have a lot more control this year than we've had all of the entire show. Like before, we've had like America's Favorite. We've had like. Um, what the have-nots get to eat, things like that. However, this year, we actually get to create our own alliance, which is really awesome because none of the other house guests are going to find out about it. And then on the finale, when they tell them, it's going to be really, really awesome. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what happened. Let's talk a little bit about what I think of this cast. 
This cast this year is actually pretty good. I don't have a problem with the cast so far. Um, I think, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow night. I mean, there's more people coming tomorrow night, as I said. But so far, I don't have a problem with the cast. However, I will say this. I think this is going to be the season with no floaters. It seems like everyone's really in it to win it, and I think they've done this because they don't want floaters on this show. Floaters do nothing. Floaters just cause problems, and I think they don't want it last season because last season, as we know, the final four were all floaters. So they're trying to make it so there are no floaters, and this really fixes that issue because there are going to be no more floaters, which is really awesome, personally. I think it's really awesome that they did that. Now, some people were complaining that they shouldn't have created an alliance, like... Once they got there, I think that was the right thing to do. You know, there are eight people there. Think about it. That you you enter a house. There's eight people. Julie says, "Okay, there's going to be more." I would do the same thing. I would try to create an alliance with certain people. I would probably do the same thing. So I don't have a problem with them trying to create their own alliance. I I don't know if Crazy Eight's going to be successful. It's probably not because you have El Quattro and the the alliance with Donnie and Devin. We have that as well. So. I kind of have this feeling that it's not going to be a very successful alliance, but we'll have to see what happens there. But yeah, overall, I'm actually really looking forward to this season, believe it or not. I didn't expect myself to look too forward to it as much as I did, and I'm actually really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to the cast. I think it's going to be a good cast this season. I'm looking forward to the cast this season. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So that's in my review of um, the first part of um, the premiere. Don't, make, don't think that this is like a part one, part two video. It's really not. It's literally just that this is part one of the premiere, because the second part, of course, airs tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to watching it, um, and, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say about Big Brother 16. Overall, I really hope Big Brother 16 is a lot better. It seems like next, tomorrow night, we are going to get some of the more, um, annoying people, because I saw the, the, pre they showed a preview for the people tomorrow night, and they seem kind of annoying. We'll have to see how they are, but let me know what you guys think of the new cast. Do you like the twists in the show? Um, where do you think, do you think that, um, Paula is waiting, is way too, is it, is it way too early for Paula to start a showmance with Cody? I really think it is. But that's been my review. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be my review for the um, se season premiere, the final season of Wilfred. So I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.